Ciao! I am Lara Cobal, the author of Lara Luna Artworks. And today I'm gonna be preparing the swatches of four new shimmering, glittering, sparkling, pearlescent, whatever colors fun are these. Um, um, I tried to see um, also the pigment information, but there are none. And I, nevertheless, I wanted to try them and have some fun with this uh, sparkling colors of the brand Yule, which is uh, an American brand made from a nice girl and why not support small businesses and try something new and have some fun with it. I haven't seen any bodies watching this color so I wanted to try them and um, I also got the impression that they would be really really nice swatched on black pepper, paper uh, but that, that will be in um, in the next episode probably so for now here we have this four um, little um, half pans not so little they're very very full and let me show you this is the um, Christmas orange and I was very happy to see that the, um, that these half pans come with already something very very useful for us that is a magnet on the bottom of the half pans so this is a beautiful idea and um, oh look oh it's like oh it's like a cake <laughs> i would really love to eat <laughs> so this is the um, christmas orange from yule look at look how fun it is um and it has uh the magnet on the bottom i will save it for later then we have the Christmas apple put it out from the envelope I order it from Jackson's oh it's already nice like this and funny and I will swatch them on my swatching cards and also on the smaller paper where I will be putting it in a separate palette from the usual watercolors that I use this is the uh, Oceans 8 color shift blue 7 will I be able to do this or not because there is really a lot of color in these half pants oh, oh wow da, 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 da. oh it's almost something like my nail polish that's nice and then we also have the red brown I'm thinking that I really have to buy some black watercolor paper to try and use them on black watercolor paper and this is the red brown so it will be very fun swatching these four colors these are like little jewels to put uh, on a crown yes on a crown so I have already written down the names and the brand of this wa sparkling watercolors. There is no pigment information, so I can't give them to you. Uh, and we will probably be using them for some fun projects. Before I will be swatching them, I will be putting the names and the brand on the half pen, so I will know which brand it is when I will have the whole set of with other um, so it's e -u -e -l -e. what is this Christmas orange so, uh, oh. e -u -e -l -e. So, uh, So this is the Christmas orange. I usually write the number, but there is no uh, numbers. 
uh, like this. So I'm having the information on the half pen. Then we have the Christmas apple. It's really a lot of work when you are preparing your new sets, when you buy new half pens, but if you order them some, just some now and then, then you, you really enjoy doing these things. Like this, so. Um, because then it's easier when you, you have to buy new colors if you want to restock them. This is the red brown color shift and this is the color shift blue 7 blue 7 so now that I have the information of the half bands we will be swatching them yes I have pens just on some pin just to show them but this is really game changer to put the magnets I think I'm gonna be doing this with every one of my half pens now let me see how these colors will look like on paper oh we have the Tintoretto 334 Marta Rakulinski number 7 and we have the jars with clean water. Here I have the granulating medium from Winsor & Newton. Because I'm very interested in the granulating effects. If there are, there will be there. And now let's start this experiment because this is really experiment. I haven't tried the Eule watercolors yet. So they're... They, there are no pigment information for them and we will see what they will look like. I don't know about the light fastness also of the colors, but I will be using them for my artistic projects. So let me see. Okay, this is very transparent, but I can see the shimmering parts in the swatches okay so the sh there are shimmering parts pearlescent parts you can also say to this in this swatch and yes of course I have to try them on black paper I have to buy the black watercolor paper mm. probably but for now let me see if on white paper yes of course you can see the shimmering now let me put the water on one side and the granulating media on the other side and let me also do my little little swatch for my swatching card that I will put the tin with the other half pans yes and now let me make as usual also my dots there's like a rose maybe also rose cold shimmer in it orangey so this is the app no this was the orange Christmas from Yule now let me clean the brush and let me try with the second one, it's a gentle one, yes, but it's very nice. It's an elegant color, let me say it that way. This is the Christmas apple. This is from the Christmas range. Oh, that's a very strong red, vivid, a vivid red. Maybe an elegant also red, but it's very, very strong. It's not so um, transparent as the orange one. Wow, but it's it's, it's definitely really, really interesting. I love it. Oh, that's so, so much fun. So much shimmering. Why life could not get a little bit shimmer? 
and make it sparkle sometime. You know, it's really, really interesting. It reminds me of a lipstick I once had. Um, this color is very strong. Of course, it's like a, the color of a Christmas apple as the author of this handmade watercolor says um so maybe we'll start you can see the difference but it's yes it's shimmering this is supposed to be a color shift color oh that's that's really not my kind of color but it's so powerful <gasps> And it's so interesting, yes. It's like... Um, it's, from one angle it's almost like a neon pink. It's really a color for a girl, maybe a teenager or something like this, but it's so fun. It's so fun. Put the drop of water to see if how the pigments dis disperse and then it's also the granulating medium. They're also very creamy. I should put really this on black paper but also here it's it's very um it's dramatic the shimmer on the paper like this. Oh, that's so f so much fun. <laughs> that's really so much fun. The last period I really got some pinks and violets in different kind of way on clothes, on mugs, on these colors that I will create with. Um, it's so fun. Look at this, it's like a special shimmer effect for the makeup yes and i can really see the color shift and then we have a cold color this is the only cold color that i got and i got it from the set Yule oceans 8 and it's the color shift blue number seven okay let me see the blue one color shift blue. oh my god Oh <laughs> yes, this really these are not really the traditional kind of watercolors that I'm used to, but these colors are so fun. They're creamy, kind of a makeup way. <laughs> yes, I have some makeup for the eyes that um you can also wet the pigment and it becomes um, a very similar effect than this so the water and the granulating medium there will probably no be no cha big changes in here but why not let's try we are experimenting uh, in art you always have to experiment try new things maybe something would fascinate you and give you ideas just to play with the materials and see what they can do and the colors mm, i love this blue mm. uh, it's like a tropical <laughs> kind of blue and also these two together are so fun mm. It's a really creamy kind of watercolor, or maybe I should say water soluble pigment with the shimmer on in them. This is fun. These, these are really fun colors. <laughs> Let me show you also my brush here. So now you can see it like they're a little bit wet. 
all the four that I wanted just to try some of them are really interesting colors I must say this was really something new for me I will leave the swatches to dry and I will show them to you when they will be dried because I don't want to make the waterfall from them but you can already see a lot of shimmer here it's the next day and all the swatches on the swatching cards I made are dried uh, and now let me show you what these sparkling colors look like so the Yule um, or Christmas orange half pan is swatched on white paper cold pressed paper Fabriano 300 grams looks like this I hope you see the shimmering it was a little bit more translucent and also the dots are great it will be very interesting in my artistic projects and then I had a Yule um, Christmas apple this is it it's um, it's really wonderful also this one it's a little bit uh, no, it's much more darker than the uh, Christmas orange so this is the Christmas apple you can see the shimmering from different angles um, and yes the dispersion of the pigment on the paper was also caused because as I said at the beginning I'm using on one side uh, water and on the other side the granulating minion and then the water spreads around and makes this beautiful this very interesting uh, way then then is the color shift red brown number four on white paper cold pressed white paper the swatch looks like this and it's it's fantastic and I also can't wait to swatch them on black watercolor paper. I have to buy some black watercolor paper. But it's it's really shining. <laughs> so this is the red brown number four. I didn't think that it would be so interesting. And then we have the last one. This is the color shift blue number seven from the set Oceans 8. Here it is. Even this, it's wonderful. It's so shiny and I can't wait to use them. And these are the smaller swatches I will be putting in the palette uh, so I can uh, have them right by the half pans. And also on these swatches you can see really the shimmering and glittering effects that they have this was my little swatching of this sparkling um, color shifting uh, colors and i hope you like this little swatch like this channel subscribe to lara luna artworks on youtube and you can also meet me on Instagram and on Facebook, Lara Lona Archive. Ciao!